What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some more Madden 20 gameplay here. We got a commentator battle. At least I would consider it a commentator battle because I know Smoking Big Mike used to um, he used to be a YouTuber. So I'm not really sure um, if he still does it. I know I'm subscribed to him. I haven't seen him post in a while, but I'm, I'm subscribed to so many people I could be missing his post. But man, if he still is, if he still is on YouTube, man, show him some love. Tell me your boy Launch Pass sent you. We got a classic here, man. He has the Chicago Bears. I have the New Orleans Saints. I picked the Saints because I feel like this is the team I'm playing with the best in the game. And if this is if this is my team, I just kind of just want to, you know, um, you know, just see, you know what, you know what I can do with them. See if it's really, really my team. But we still got the, the night is still young for Madden, and that could change. You know, by the end of the year, the Packers could be my favorite team. It could be. The Ravens could be the could be the Raiders. You never know. It could be any team. That's my favorite team. But as I kick a field goal right here, take a three. I'm um, enough to lead, and, and, and that felt comfortable because I don't even know who I'm going to because I never played Smoke with Big Mike. The only history I have with him is that he hit me up a lot of times for games. So <laughs> shout out to him for being consistent, man. Uh, I, we finally got a chance to play. Usually when he hit me up, I, I was just busy or I had to do something like the interception right there, man. He throws it deep, man. And I, I know he was probably a little bit sick to his stomach right there because, you know, you're going up against someone that just had a, a really good drive. Um, I'm probably someone he respects a little bit. And he, I know he's watched some of my gameplay. I, I can be I can be very a very sound uh, player when I want to be, even though I don't make the best decision right here. But I, the blitz was coming in heavy, man. This blitz was serious, man. But... Four from one, I'm like, man, you know how many times I got one yard in this game? I figured it would be easy. I didn't think it was a big deal, but I ended up paying for it. As smoking Big Mike scored the first touchdown of the contest. Huge run right there by Kamara. That's probably the best run of the game, man. He pretty much shut my run down. A lot of people don't shut the run down. You know, he stacked the box a lot. Even versus stacked boxes, I usually do I usually do a little bit better than what I did against smoking Big Mike. I throw a horrible pass right there. I do a lot of that this game. <laughs> yeah, I usually do a little bit um better than what I did, but I got to give Smoking Mike credit, man. He pretty much shut my, my run down. I had to go to my passing game. And, you know, this is not this is not what you what I'm talking about when I say go to my passing game. <laughs> Even though he was open for a second, I didn't think that ball was going to be in the air for 100 years, man. But luckily, it didn't get picked off, man. First down to 10, he had the ball back. Nice little pass right there. By smoking big M, no, and he, he just, uh, you no, know, he's just doing his thing. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what he's, what he likes to do on offense. He felt like towards the, towards the second half, he felt like more, like right, like right around here. I said, okay, this guy's a little bit more of a passer than a runner, but you know, when he, when he does run, um, you know, you do gotta watch it because he does have Tari Cohen back there, so you gotta, <laughs> you gotta respect Cohen, man. So, if we're going to the second half, I wanted to see if I can make something happen right here. I have to concede to the fact that versus the zone. This player is not good versus the zone. Now, what what my alternate thing is going to be to to combat that, or just my second option to combat that, I'm not really sure. So that's that's just going to be a play I run before the end of the half or before the end of the game, <laughs> and then hope someone's in man coverage. And, and I might not even do that that much. I mean, because in Madden 19, that game that 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 play was sound, but. <laughs> But in Madden 20, I can see it's not a sound, man. Look at this, man. Tyree Cole, man, causing havoc. Every time he touch the ball, man, he's dangerous, man. He'll make you cry if you let <laughs> if you let him, man. If you don't get on him, as Cameron Jordan, man, had four sacks in the game. You can see his X factor is activated, but it big and big Mike got rid of it real quick right there. On <laughs> one play, on one play, it was gone. Like, like, come on, EA, you can at least give me two plays. But we do get the interception right there. My goodness, man, good play by I me mean, having to be in the right place at the right time. Um, to make that interception, he does a little rare with the linebackers, it seems like, man. It seems like you got to do, if you really want to get picked, you got to find a way to, to get the safety, the use of your safety or your corner. So I'm, I'm, I might have to make some adjustments, uh, probably specifically in the ultimate team, but we'll talk about that another, in another video. We get a nice little run right there over the middle to the left-hand side. Second down goal, we got Kamara. Why not run it again? Do we go to Super Mario here? We kind of wanted to go to him. But he was covered well, so he went to Michael Thomas, and he drops it, man. A rare drop by Michael Thomas, man. But that that ball actually was supposed to go to Michael Thomas. That's, that was supposed to go to Ted Ginn, but it, Drew Brees got hit, and it went to Michael Thomas. So that's probably why he dropped it. He probably didn't expect the ball to come <laughs> to him like that. As we're only down one, you know. We, we've made some a lot of dumb decisions up to this point. I, I would say Smoking Big Mike has been playing a better game than I have at this juncture of the game. So luckily... And we're only down one. Top of the fourth quarter, man. We got to try to make something happen. As it goes to the right-hand side, good catch by Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson is an absolute beast in this game, man. Respect Allen Robinson. If someone get that guy, man. My goodness, man. 
every time we touch the ball, it's scary. But check out this, man. I thought I had an interception right here, but we ended up not getting that pick right there. Down one, he throws it over the middle. Good play by Smoking Big Mike, man. Trying to put this this game out of reach. As we sack him right there. We know we're getting sacked. We got a sack right there. But check out this, man. Second down and goal, he does an RPO. And I was thinking to myself, there's no way he had time to, to make that play to, to, to do the inside route. But he, he had time, and he ended up scoring right there. I said, okay. I, I, just, I just knew that was going to be a bat down by my corner, man. As we go deep, I'm right there trying to figure out a way to get back into this game. Under a little bit over a minute to go in the game, and look at this, man. I got a little lucky, but it's your boy. We ended up getting a huge catch right there, a huge score. Check out this, man. I had to make 105 adjustments on this play. This is a big two point conversion right here. This will tie the game, but don't get this. This is pretty much game over. I'm um, pretty much if I can stop him, but as you see, I blocked everybody in the world Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck. Uh, Mickey Mouse, and then on top of that, I, I put um, Smith on the out route because it looked the most wide open than it was, and we, we had to pay Manning that. And maybe if I play like that every uh, down, every play, uh, maybe I, <laughs> maybe maybe my wins would be a little bit more. Even I, I, I've been winning more than I've been losing, but I mean, but maybe I would have more wins. But it's just hard to uh, pay Manning every play and matter. It, it's not as fun, so you know, you just gotta you know, you just gotta go out and have some fun sometimes. We force. My opponent to punt, man. He forced Smoking Big Mike to punt. And we got we got a little bit under 30 seconds left to go into the game. We got a chance to win the game. I can't, I can't even believe we're at this juncture of this game, man. Right here, I don't see nobody open. So I decided to take off. And I end up running out of bounds before I get hit. So luckily, we go out of bounds. 15 seconds left to go to the game. Go to the right-hand side. Smith again getting on the front. Getting on the action. In this contest, nice little play right there. He goes out of bounds. Ten seconds left. We go deep. We see somebody open. And look at that, man. He's not catching like he got to be kidding me. Right here, we go to that bread and butter play that I said didn't work. I don't know why we went to it again. And it gets picked off again. But I say, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to try. Well, but like I said earlier, it's going to be one of those players at the end of the game and end of the half. And we're just going to see if it works if I get time. If I'd had a little bit more time, I'd have probably been able to throw that a little bit better ball. As we get the ball at, 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 in overtime, a little bit better ball, and maybe I would have had a more sound uh, opportunity or chance to catch that. If we go to the same play versus the same defense. It looked like he was wide open, so I said, let me try it again. If I see if something works, I'll try it again. But right here, this is usually a bread and butter play for me, but that corner decided to follow the wide receiver. Look, more tighter than I've ever seen in any zone in this game. So we ended up having a punt. I, I was shocked he, he followed him like that. I'm like, my goodness, man. 14 to 14. It's overtime. Smoking big. Mike has the ball. Let's see what he got. Right here, he typically throws to the left. Throws to the left against the Cordero Patterson. Good play by him. Throws to the right, right hand. Allen Robinson, why not? But he drops it. Woo, he get a little lucky. He drops it right there. Second down 10. Screen to the left. Like somebody. Get him. That's the one guy I don't want having the ball. And he's, he's the scariest guy on the team, man. I don't care what anybody says, man. Tyreek Cohen is the scariest guy on the team on this team. Followed by Allen Robinson as, as smoking big Mike doesn't end the game. He botches the field goal kick. I'm not I, I think it was the internet probably messed up on him in that moment. I don't know, man. But but I'll take it, man. And hopefully we can find a way to get this win. We go to the out route again and work earlier. But this time it was Ted Ginn on the out route. I, I don't know if I if I got him involved enough in this game. I had time. I don't know what in the world. See, I didn't do all that. I'm not sure what in the world Drew Brees is doing. I know you're probably thinking, come on, LP. And we end up getting picked off, man. It's like, give yeah, Smoking Big Mike another opportunity. But the thing of it is, he has to go 96 yards, man. Because Smoking Big Mike put together a 96-yard drive to win this game. All he needs is a field goal, man. Bottom of the overtime. Let's see what we can do. He goes deep. Um, I thought I had to pick with that guy, but I ended up getting to pick with this guy. I was like, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Whoever wants to pick it up. <laughs> I don't care, man. Somebody just pick it up, man. I thought I had a clear lane right there. And right here, you know, we are in a really good position to win this game. I, I'm feeling like this is, uh, this is as soon as I get in field goal range, this game is over. But I got to get in field goal range. Third, fourth down at two. I got to go for this. I go to the out route again. It was working earlier. In the game a couple times and let me go to it again and right here i am definitely in field goal range after these two yards i take this field goal and i end this classic right here with this my goodness man second overtime top of the second overtime we end up winning the game man shout out to smoke with big mike man um i can't even believe i won this game you would be 100 cent hours with you i can't believe i won this game i think he played a better game i i, I think he probably deserved to win more than i did i'm just being honest i think he deserved to win uh, more than I did, but we end up getting it. So I'll take it, man. Sometimes some wins are uh, some wins are dirty, some wins are clean, uh, some wins are are nutty, man. This is a 
on one of those uh, nutty situations. Well, we both had three takeaways. Okay, I, I thought I had more um, turnovers than he did. I thought I did. At least, at least it, it felt like it, man. But shout out to Smoking Big Mike again, man. Um, if you guys um, don't know, he, I believe he still does YouTube a little bit. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if he does. But if he does, man, go check him out. Tell your boy Launchpad sent you. Don't forget to smash the like button on the boy. Don't forget on the on the uh, video. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the boy, man. The more subscribers, the merrier, man. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is your boy, Launchpad1412, and I'm out.